Welcome back boys and girls. This is Josh with the Florida Spearfishing Channel. Um, this is actually a trip we did this month in November back down to the Florida Keys. Um, we did kind of like a three couple kind of group trip down there. We actually stayed in Kudjo again. Um, this time of the year was kind of weird because the winds were a lot higher so I was working trying basically trying to do spot like spot the wind for the best days. Um, this spot I'm on right now, we're actually we're pretty much straight out of Kaijo. We're on a reef ball, or on a, one of the mooring balls right now out of the sanctuaries. Um, just doing, trying to do a little bit of shooting. The water was cloudy down towards the bottom and it made it hard to shoot. Um, so we actually ended up moving in because the swells were getting pretty big. They were about five foot swells we were in. Um, so we tried to move in, look for some lobster. The lobster are a little funny this year too, or this time of the year too, because they move in shallow, or from the shallow spots, they actually go to deeper spots to keep warm. Um, this little clip right here, I'm actually sneaking up on it. We thought it was an octopus at first, but later on we realized that it was actually a stingray. Um, the eyes were so close, we really couldn't tell with him being under sand. We thought he was just trying to disguise himself. So my buddy Ollie went down and decided to make him come out the sand and show us what it really was because we really, we're 50-50 it was an octopus or a stingray. You can't outdo a stingray. It was pretty cool looking. Had a lot of colors. Um, he actually tried to do a pretty cool little trick right here. <laughs> he tried to basically make himself look like he's still going forward and trying to hide in the sand real quick. But he's got to match the trick a little bit better. Um, so we're actually looking around for some lobsters, trying to trying to find a couple keepers. Um, there was a lot of shorts around. I didn't. S I think we only got maybe six or seven actual keepers um, from the grass flats. Other than that, there were pretty much there. Everything was shorts. Um, I don't think any. I got any of the keepers on video. This was one Ollie got. The short. He went to go check it with the gauge real quick and realized it was too short. For let the little guy to see another day. Maybe the next year we'll get him when, I, when he's a keeper size. Check the gauge there. Too short. Let him grow. Um. This trip was going okay so far. The first couple days were super windy. Um, this, these next couple clips, so this was actually the last day before we left. Um, this was on Monday. The wind slacked from, from 5 a.m. to about 1 in the afternoon. Um, so we ran out to a nice ledge, a little past Key West, um, and we finally wound up on some black grouper. I stuck one there, lined up for a good shot. He had to pull out the reef edge a little bit. Uh, that was a solid fish there. We're shooting probably in about 50 to 60 feet. Um, the bottom was kind of deceiving because of how clear it was. Um, and some of the fish might look like they're small on the bottom, but really they're not. Like he's about to pull this black up to him and it's actually a decent size. Um, I think the smallest black we got was 26 inches. The biggest one we got was 31 inches. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna jump back in here for a second. So, Ollie's actually braining this fish. Um, it helps the meat a lot more because one, the fish is completely dead. Two, we bleed it. Three, we gut them. Um, this just makes the meat quality a whole lot better. Um, while Ollie's in the process of doing this, you can see at a point um, there, are, there are two other blacks that are in the sand. Um, but he is fully unloaded, but his girlfriend Bethany has got a loaded spear gun. Um, and he's trying to get her on a fish. So Bethany is a really good free diver in the springs. Um, we're still kind of converting her into a full-time hunter. Um, so mainly she should have... If she would have swam up a little bit further, get on top of those fish and do a drop, she, she would have had one without a doubt. Um, but she kind of dropped a little too soon, and those fish saw her coming, so they moved out further and didn't give her the, the shot she needed. Um, overall, she did an awesome drop there. She's getting much better at it. Um, she has shot a few fish in the past with us, but this was more a little more advanced. 
um, but she she is definitely trying to get in the hang of it for sure. You can see those blacks kind of looking at her as she comes down. <laughs> um, as soon as she goes to put that spear gun up to point at them, they just had did not want anything to do with it. Um, she tries to take a shot short, winds up short, um, but still a good dive. Um, yeah. yeah, but next time Bring we'll get her, on, get her on one for sure. Bring the boat! this is my clip from my blacks um, so I'm actually swimming down the reef edge I'm spotting around I could, you could see a couple triggers there on the reef edge but they were pretty nice sized um, but I look ahead and I actually try to pause this clip there so in this group of yellowtail in front of me there's a black probably 20 to 25 feet off the bottom swimming in the school yellowtail I kept trying to I was like blinking my eyes like thought I was seeing things um, I just kept just slowly swimming towards him, trying to keep my heart rate down, trying not to spook him, trying not to scare him. Um, just kept moving forward slowly, but you can see that giant school yellowtail swimming through. Um, they didn't pay me no attention. They were just minding their own business going through. Um, as I got closer, that black slowly went back down to the bottom. Um, I thought he was going to go into this cave that's kind of to the bottom of the screen a little bit. Um, but he didn't, he actually turned and he kept going towards kind of to my left, my upper left. Um, I kind of, kind of see him there at the bottom. He's pretty, he's pretty right at the bottom. He's kind of blended in a little bit. Um, I'm trying not to pay him too much mind to actually not show him that I'm looking at him. Um, trying to keep my eyes off him as much as I can. But I see him kind of swim towards, towards the upper left or well, really towards the top of the screen a little bit. Um, let's see here. So I've, I'm still trying just slow kicks, slow movement. Still trying to kind of advance on this fish a little bit, a little bit at a time. So he actually, there's a sponge towards the bottom of the screen now. Um, he actually stopped next to the sponge and for whatever reason decided to sit there and look at me the entire time. Um, I tried to keep, keep look, trying to put my eyes on him the whole time. That way he would not think of me as a predator. Um, so I'm trying to get a good breath hold, trying to keep my heart rate low as much as I can. Because this was actually, I think my, yeah, this is my first fish of the day, which is cool. Um, get a good breathe up, do a good drop, I should have pulled my snorkel out, that's where you can hear the bubbles kind of bubbling through my snorkel, I didn't get about th almost halfway down, um, I usually pull that out right after I drop from the surface but I was just too excited inside, um, come down, if you see that sponge there, that grouper's to the right of that sponge, he is staring straight at me, and I don't particularly care for that headshot, but I tried to move my gun to a little bit of the left and pulled the trigger. Um, that good shot, I actually, I don't know if I stoned him or if I actually broke his spine. I'm not 100% not sure. Um, 
but solid fish. There was tons and tons of life. There were so many blacks everywhere. I think once we shot our limit, we actually went down for like playing with two other blacks, kind of doing like hand motions and stuff to see what they would do to it. Um, so I was pretty psyched to get that one because that was like my first fish. That was my first fish of the day um, to an early morning. Uh, overall, the day is going good. Um, yes, I think that black was. He was 27 inches. Yeah, he's 27 inches. Um, we had we had f we had five blacks on the boat because we had one per person. Um, the I think Ollie shot. Yeah, Ollie shot the biggest one, which was like 31. Um, yeah, so overall, it was going good. You can still see that trigger kind of cruising around. Let's stay next to the reef. I was hoping they kind of maybe come up towards me to give me a shot, but they kind of kept their distance. Um, which is kind of weird because usually triggers are very curious. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and jump out here for a few minutes and let y'all enjoy. party yo this rock right here is where I shot two blacks off of this ledge and this rock So we we're doing a few drops, still looking for some more fish. Um, wasn't seeing too much life. We pretty much shot a decent amount off this ledge, kind of spooked everything away. Um, I actually went down with the light because I saw this big ledge stone. I'm just, just making sure there was nothing tucked up underneath it. Um, so I pulled my light out and looking around. I don't see really too much kind of going on right there. Um, it's a few mangroves, a few um, schoolmasters hanging out. Um, so I decided to come back up, uh, just doing a slow dive there, not trying to burn any gas on the way down or on the way back up. Mm. It was such a beautiful day this day, the water was so clear, <laughs> it was like a swimming pool. <laughs> um, so me and Ollie are kind of talking there for a minute, um, we actually decided to kind of maybe move spots just because so many things ran away from this spot already. Um, we don't have to wax it. So, yeah, so we're starting. We're actually going to work our way back to the boat, jump in, um, and kind of. Yeah, but I shot literally three fish, like right here. So, I think we killed the main predators of this rock. Oh. 
Uh, not three, but I literally shot two right off this rock. One was out in the sand and one was right on the ledge. Like within literally 20 feet of each other. Within 20 feet of each other. In fact, I'm pretty sure the first one watched me shoot the second one. Or, I mean, the second one watched me shoot the first one. I mean. So we actually moved, so we went from the 50-60 area to kind of, we went out a little bit off the reef edge. Um, we were doing some drifts. We did one drift anywhere from, we drifted from 115 to 150. Um, we're in the search for Oahu. Um, broke out the big guns, broke out, broke out the float lines and float buoys. Um, didn't see anything on the first drift. We're like halfway into the second drift. Um, mm -hmm and ollie is actually pretty close to the back of the boat he gets two bulls that roll up on him he apparently he yelled to me and i didn't hear him i was like probably like 40 feet in front of the boat um i turned around i got three bulls coming towards me one actually kind of kicked his tail pretty good and came straight at me um just held the gun out towards him he probably got six inches away from the tip um dip back down so i was like it's probably time for me to get out the water there's probably too much going on so we actually swam to the back of the boat and those three went down and came back up and there was like 12 underneath us so i was like yeah we're out you can kind of see them there on the video a little bit um yeah there was just too many bull sharks going on um i kind of think it was a couple of the boats actually chumming there was three boats that were pretty close to us that were chumming pretty hard um so i was like yeah it's time to go so we actually moved back into another spot that was we're about 60 right now. Um, I was like, eh, let's just hop in. Let's see if we can either get just get our last black in the boat real quick because um, the day was kind of finishing up pretty fast. Um, try to look around for some maybe like a mutton or a kubera um, or a big yellow tail snapper by chance. Um, actually, I'm going down on a dive. That's me diving down. I saw this black swim into this cave. This is the last black of the day. Um, he was, this cave system was pretty big. I wasn't prepared for him to be in there, be it to go that far, that deep in there. Um, put the light on him, line a shot up. You can see me at the bottom laying there. As soon as I shoot that fish, he goes ballistic, um, throwing his head in there and everything. Um, I tried to keep the line tight as much as I could, but he, I could tell he just dove his cave, just completely went further back in that cave. Um that cave I could easily fit my body underneath the only thing is the entrance was not that wide um, so it's gonna be kind of a tricky area to get this fish out so I'm trying to get my breath back Ollie does a drop to go kind of see what's going on I'm looking down at Ollie and I cannot yell at him at all he's about three-fourths uh, probably about three-fourths away to the bottom now looks up there's about a six-foot sandbar shark that came in because of the commotion um, and kind of spooked a holly. I think Ollie spooked the shark, so the shark took off. So that was probably the plus side of the fish staying in the ledge, which was cool. 
Um, I did not get the rest of this video because my GoPro and Ollie's GoPro died. Um, but I actually had to go down on a well, tank like and get this fish out. He was so deep in there, I had to use a gaff and that? everything to get him out and use another spear gun to get him out as well. Um, but it ended up being a pretty good day, um, pretty solid day. If anybody's got any questions, say feel free to ask. Um, please subscribe.